Hey guys, this is Nick with Along for the Ride. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the first oil change on a 2018 to 2020 KLX 250. Let's go ahead and get started. This is uh, the stuff you're gonna need um, in order to do this. This is per the manual. Um, so you're gonna need some grease to hold your oil filter spring in place. Um, Sorry about the background noise, I'm near the road. But uh, you're also gonna need a quarter inch socket. You're gonna need a 14, or sorry, a quarter inch driver. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket uh, for the oil drain plug. You're gonna need a eight millimeter socket for the oil filter housing. Um, and then you're gonna need, uh, I think this is a three quarters driver as well. Um, you don't have to use these if you have a eight millimeter that fits a quarter inch or a half inch, but you're gonna need these eight millimeter and 14 millimeter sockets. I recommend having a rag too, just in case you need to, uh, you know, pick up any spills or anything like that. And then you're gonna need to get the uh, oil filter from from your Kawasaki dealer. Um, this is the part number. Um, or you can use the K&N filters too. Um, you can order those online. And then for the brake and for the uh, for the bike, the first I think first 600 to a thousand miles, I would recommend just using the Kawasaki regular oil. Um, don't use any synthetic or um, half synthetic, semi synthetic oils. Um, only use the uh, Kawasaki manufactured oil or like a Yamalube, anything like that. Um, that's just real natural oil, non synthetic. Um, I went ahead and bought the one gallon um, piece it does about three oil changes and I plan on doing it every 250 to 500 miles um, until I run out of this and then I'm going to switch to synthetic after that um, and this should last me about three different times. Um, you're also going to need an uh, oil, oil pan, um, oil drain pan and um, a, f a funnel for the, for the oil. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to warm the bike up. Um, let me just show you guys right now. Um, I have two, 260 miles. Um, I've been having a little strange noises with my transmission and first gear and stuff like that. And my oil looks pretty dirty um, to me. So that's why I'm changing it. You wanna check your oil um, level when the bike is warm. And that's gonna be uh, right here. Just turn the bike on and let it run for about a minute to warm up the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll get back to you guys once it's warmed up. All right guys, so the bike's all warmed up. Uh, you can definitely hear when it's warmed up. Um, I have my idle set pretty low. Per manufacturer specs, it says between 1250 to 1400 is uh, where it should be at. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and uh, shut off the bike. Um, so you can do that with the key if you want. And then um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this, uh, the oil, um, you know, where you, where you put in the oil. I'm sorry, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, you're gonna wanna take that off. That's gonna help you out a lot um, when you're draining everything. Um, because it allows air to get in the engine and uh, it helps like remove the oil. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your uh, oil drain pan and you're going to want to set it under here. Um, so I'm going to show you where you're going to unscrew that and it is going to be this bolt right here. You're going to take your 14 millimeter socket and you're going to, going to want to make sure it's right under there. Make sure you don't lose your washer when you're doing it. So it's gonna start all flowing out. You can see that washer right there, just make sure you don't lose it. You can start tightening, untightening it with your hands. Um, you can see. Just make sure you got the, see that crush washer right there? You're gonna wanna Make sure you don't lose that. Just try to get out of the way as quick as possible. Let me focus in on it for you guys. 
Maybe you can see that okay. And there you go. Look at that. All right. Now we just wait for it to, to drain out all the way. And uh, I'll get back to you with the next step. So one thing that I want to note is uh, when the oil is draining, uh, you should probably you know just clean your bolts make sure there's no dirt inside um, anything like that you the one thing you want to make sure you don't lose is this washer right here otherwise it's not gonna work um, as you can see you know it's still draining a little bit I am on a hill I'm working at an angle right here which helps a little bit um, but you should also stand the bike up too you know off the stand See, we got a lot more. Just kind of move it around a little bit. Can get a lot more out. And you should be good to go. Then once it starts, it should take about five, maybe eight minutes um, for it all to drain. Um, and once you do that, um, you're, you're good to go to put the block washer and the nut back on. You're pretty much good to just move this out of the way. Just slide it over there um, you should take this to like an auto zone or a jiffy lube or anything like that to dispose of it um, that's where you're supposed to go you shouldn't pour it down the drain or anything like that um, anyways obviously it's still dripping a little bit um, but this is really the best that we're gonna be able to get um, Unless you want to be here for hours, which you could do. Um, I'm not in a garage though, so I don't really want to be waiting that long. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your... Put your bolt in, your 14 millimeter bolt. Tighten it all the way up by hand. And then you want to get your 14 millimeter socket. After, of course, you wipe the bolt down. It's always a good idea. Make sure it's nice and clean, all right? Then you wanna get your 14 millimeter socket. It says to uh, torque it down to 11 foot pounds, um, but I don't have a torque thing, so I'm just gonna give it a nice tug. Um, not too tight, just Torque it down a little bit. You don't want to strip those screws or anything. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. And then you just want to basically tighten it down firmly until it bites a little bit and then just back off. Um, you definitely don't want to ruin those threads. If you have to rethread your engine, it's going to be very expensive. Um, the next step is you're going to remove the oil filter. You're going to need your 8 millimeter bolt. Um, and you're gonna wanna untighten these. They're pretty simple, easy. Um, one thing to note is when you're taking these out, it's a little bit hot. Um, and also make sure that you remember which orientation your oil um, filter cover is at. So what I recommend doing is once you get these bolts off, you're gonna want to take it. It's a little bit. There you go. You're gonna want to just go like this. And this is trash, so that's it. But see how this is like this? You're gonna wanna make sure you keep it like that. So I'm just gonna tilt it down this way on the ground, okay? and keep it just like that until I'm done. This the old oil filter is just trash. I'm gonna put it in the oil bin for now. I'll grab my, my rag, just clean everything off a little bit. Um, can you get in there? Um, one thing to note is this right here. Um, this is the spring. We're gonna use some grease. I'll show you that in a second. And we're just gonna put it right there. You're gonna, gonna want to take it out um, the way the oil filter goes in is with this grommet facing out it's gonna connect right on here okay 
but um, first you have to put the spring in. So this is sp uh, just grease that I got. It was a, a dollar at O'Reilly Auto Parts, whatever. Um, you're gonna wanna take the spring. You're gonna wanna take a little bit of grease. Doesn't matter really what kind of grease. Um, you're just gonna wanna put it on here. Just. And you're gonna wanna stick it right here. Right in the middle. Then you're gonna wanna take your filter. Remember how I said, make sure the orientation is correct. See, I got the orientation wrong. You're basically gonna want to match it up with this and this. If you do, if you don't do that, you're pretty much screwed. You're gonna want to put the oil filter, pop it in like that, and you're gonna want to put it straight in. It's spring-loaded, so you're gonna want to push it down. Then you're gonna to, going to want to take your two eight-millimeter bolts. And get in the rubber. You're gonna to wanna to tighten them down. There you go. Just like that. Get your eight millimeter socket. You can tighten them down almost all the way by hand. Um, there's no torque specifications for these, just make sure they're nice and snug. Still not tight enough to use that. Just keep tightening it down. There you go. Nice and snug. Just tighten it all the way down. Nice and snug. Give it a little wipe off. We're good to start on the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our, um, whatever this thing's called, our funnel. I ha this is a diesel funnel, so it's pretty long. Um, and if you look on the side of the bottle, they all have these. Um, this takes about 1.3, one quart to 1.3. So we're gonna pour this until it's down to a little bit past here. Then we're gonna start it up and see how it is. Okay guys, one thing to note is when you're filling it up with oil, um, on the old KLXs, it recommended you put one and a half uh, quarts in the in the engine. Um, I put a little under one and a half. Um, we're gonna put the drain, the, the oil fill cap on right now. Just tighten it snug. Um, everything's good to go. Um, then we're gonna turn the key on. Let's stand it up for a sec. Move all the oils around. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna do it just to be safe. Pretty sure it's fine. Then we're gonna turn on the engine and just let it run for a couple minutes to circulate the oil. Let the oil filter get saturated and then we're gonna check the level. Um, one thing to note is when you fill it up, um, it's going to look too full. Um, once you start running it, and then once you tilt the bike forward off the kickstand, like sitting upright, it should be between the upper and lower notches. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try to zoom in. See the notch up there? And then there's one below there. You want it between the upper and lower notch. Mine looks low right now, but let me see if I can tilt the bike up as you can see when the bike's standing up right right now it's just below the top um, which is fine for me um, it has to be below the middle I put in about 1.3 
um, 1.3 quarts of oil. Um, the oil was pretty dirty after only 250 miles and my gears were kind of shifting pretty rough in uh, second and first. Um, this seems to have fixed the problem and now we're good to go. If you guys like this video, um, please subscribe and comment and tell me what you want to see next. I'm doing a full build on this bike, um, plus a lot more like camping stuff, traveling, all that. Um, come along for the ride.